Hey there, Tony here, and as promised, this is the no spoiler video movie review of uh, Gemini Man with a success business tip. So today I'm talking about the movie Gemini Man, which is the newest movie by Will Smith. And what's unique about this movie is that he actually plays two roles. He plays himself at his current age, and he also plays a much younger version of himself. And the big setup is that he's the young version is an assassin that's sent out to kill the older version of uh, Will Smith uh, for reasons that I'll leave to the movie itself. Now, I walked into this movie with some concerns. The biggest concern I had was that the, produ uh, the director was Ang Lee. And uh, Ang Lee, he uh, has a bit of a history with me. He made the very first Hulk movie. And I'm telling you, that Hulk movie was not good. So <laughs> when it came to this movie, I came in there with some trepidation, but I thought I'd give it a shot anyway. Well, overall, I will tell you that the movie is a good movie from an action standpoint. There's some cool things they do with the action scenes that uh, you will make it very popping. You'll like that part of it uh, for sure. If you're looking for a big plot, um, you might be a little bit disappointed. I mean, you think about the fact that someone, there's another version of you running around out there trying to kill you. There's a lot of room for a lot of existential type of thinking and, you know, ways you could delve into the psyche of the whole situation and so forth. The movie doesn't really go there. Um, but it does, uh, it is a good popcorn movie. I could see this movie have been, being one that could have come out during the summer. Uh, I'm sure because it was so crowded with other movies and so forth, it didn't happen. So if you like Will Smith, uh, there's a little bit of the old Will Smith humor that you uh, may be used to in some of his movies. But if you like Will Smith, you'll like this movie, I think. Um, definitely better than the uh, last movie, one of the last movies he did, After Earth. Uh, terrible movie, if you understand. Terrible. Terrible. So anyway... So I would recommend it. Now, in terms of anything after the credits, you don't have to stay after the credits. There's nothing after the credits. And uh, in terms of a success tip, here's the success tip. In the movie, a big deal is being made out of the fact that there is a better version of yourself running out there, running around out there, a better version of himself running out there. My encouragement to you is that regardless of how old you are, whether you're the young guy in, that, in this picture or the older guy in the picture, it's never too late to work towards and chase the best version of yourself. One of my mentors, a guy by the name of Ed Milet, talks about that. He talks about when he gets to heaven, he wants to meet someone who's his twin, who did everything right, who he was a perfect version, he made all the right decisions and so forth. And when he meets that twin, he wants that person to be a twin and not a stranger. So again, it's always, it's never too late to chase the best version of yourself. Now, as always, uh, if you uh, would like to know the top five movies that, I, uh, that are at the multiplex, in my opinion, feel free. Uh, send me an inbox message and I will give you the top five. As you know, because new movies come out every week, the top five changes. So uh, inbox me. I'll get you the top five list. And other than that, have an awesome day. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye now.